We were having uh, supper. Views had blown and then we smelled bur a burning smell. Last night, fire ripped through the upper floor of this home. Neighbors captured pictures of the flames and the effort of firefighters to bring it under control while the family of four inside got to safety. Watching, I mean, watching the flames leaping out of the house was like, I just didn't really want to watch. <laughs> Today, when they should be sitting down at a Thanksgiving dinner here at their home, instead they find themselves surrounded by family and friends, maybe more than they knew they had, thanks to the way the community has responded. They're just now getting a look inside at the damage caused by the fire and by the water used to put the fire out. But they are not focusing so much on what they have lost, but by the support they've gained. People offering all kinds of things. That's the story. That If you want a story, yeah. that's the story. From the very beginning, taking us in and, tell, and um, let me camp out over there in the cold. Thanksgiving transformed, but not ruined by fire. What were your Thanksgiving plans before this happened? To, to just have a small Thanksgiving. With here, here we had a house. turkey on the counter. The it's still, on still the sitting counter. there. Oh goodness! And the, my pecan pie is on the table that I just baked as we ran out. At a time when we're all asking ourselves what we're thankful for, this family found some easy answers: that they're all safe, and that they're surrounded by neighbors who are willing to share. No, not surprised. These neighbors have been helpful always, and so I wouldn't have expected any less, and we would have done the same for any of them. And even with the holiday, they've already been in touch with their insurance company about making repairs. From Northside, Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.